we just have to close the door so we can actually show you the old cabin because it's not the biggest so I'm putting one hand here <laughs> and it pretty much goes almost to the wall over yeah. here and same yep that's why I can do yeah. wall to wall it's, it's a little cabin <laughs> leaving London uh, St. Uh, King's Cross and we are going to Amsterdam. Yay. Yeah, so as you can see here in the background, we are hopping on a um, uh, train, so the um, Eurostar, uh, which takes us all the way to Amsterdam. And it's about four and a half, five hour journey, um, which is gonna stop in um, Brussels and then Rotterdam and then Amsterdam. Um, but we're gonna get there quite early, but you know, we're just gonna have a walk around and you know, we're. Looking forward to Amsterdam. I've never been, and so you, you haven't been, Dave. So, so we thought we'd do it a little bit different. Rather than flying, we thought we'd take this. We're going to see more, but the actual process coming through was a lot easier. And Pat um, managed to get a good deal on the price. I think I, I think we paid like seventy-seven pounds uh, for both of us. For both of us. So, so that's um, hundred and forty dollars, hundred thirty. So it's it's really good value. Much cheaper than flying. And it takes out all the other people. So we're going to hop on board before she takes off because that would be awful if we talked about it and then we saw it in the background late. So on board we go with the Eurostar. <laughs> and as simple as that, after four quick hours we have arrived in Amsterdam. So we just have to clear customs of the good old Kiwi passport and then we've got all the next four days to go and explore this amazing city so we can't wait to do that. But today we're going to show you some uh, alternative accommodation to that Pat managed to find online. It was a really good price right in the middle of town so check that out in a moment. <laughs> All right, where's the exit? The exit? Uh, I think it's over here. All right, I think we have found our little cabin. Um, there's no such thing as a reception, but I think we have found where we need to be. It's got our name Look on at it. That. Like, how cool is that? There's even lollies and water. Oh, it's not water, that is uh, some shots of something. of some kind. <laughs> but yeah, look how cool is this? So this is where we will be staying for three nights. I love it.
just dropped off our bags at the boat, as Pat was saying, what an amazing location. We've walked 15 minutes past Central Station, across the road, and we find ourselves in this district. Yes. What we've done is we've, uh, and we recommend it too, is stop at one of the uh, local cafes and uh, just relax for five minutes, and then from there carry on walking around, I tell you what, it makes it a very interesting experience. Because there's so much to see. So. There's so much architecture. It's quite packed actually, so we're still trying to look for a place to eat. We haven't been um, um, quite lucky with that because now we're stuck here amongst the crowd, um, lots of shopping that it's just really just tempting me really. <laughs> very tempting and the weather again, my <laughs> god, it must be 30 degrees. Everyone around you is well dressed, very smartly dressed, beautiful retail stores, and I just can't get over. We're here, it's like a dream come true. Hey guys, back. Uh, just We just talked to you just around the corner. We've just walked down the end of the street, turned it, and look at this. It is breathtaking. So I'm just going to spin the camera around for you all, but all I can see around me is most gorgeous buildings. It just it, it does take your uh, breath away. So I'm going to spin the camera around and enjoy this. Isn't that incredible? Wow. So it's just this big public square, right? You know, it's about 20 minutes from our boat, really. It's, it's awesome. So we're just walking around Amsterdam, just stumbling our way around, but you just can't help yourself but love the city. It's gorgeous. Are we going today, Pat? We have daily passes. Yes, so today, um, well, first of all, welcome to another day here in Amsterdam. Um, as Dave mentioned, we decided to um, explore the outskirts of um, Amsterdam um, and we decided to go visit one of the ancient um, towns, which is uh, north of Amsterdam. It's a city called Nardin. I'm yeah, not sure if I pronounced that right. And it's an uh, origins date right back to 1300 and it's an, a historic fortified city so it's got a really unique shape to it. Um, so we're going to see it um, so we'll probably hear about its history and learn about how um, the locals um, fortified themselves in there yes. during World War II. Yes, yeah, so again, you know, um, it, this is a very old country with lots of rich his history. So we're looking forward to learning more about um, its past, how um, uh, the city kind of rise above all the ruins in the past. So, but yeah, we're very excited. And today it's stinking hot. Yeah, they reckon 39 degrees today. So uh, heaps of sunscreen on the old head. And there's a lot of walking to do. Yes, yeah, so we're here at the central station. Uh, so if ever you're coming um, to Naradin, it's an easy 20 minute train ride um, from central station. So um, yeah, we'll show you the journey and uh, check on you guys um, when we get there. Here's Pat doing some work on Google Maps to figure out which way we're going to the fort. According to Google Maps, it's a 27 minute walk. That's all right. How many hours did we walk yesterday? It's two kilometers, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, in this stinking heat, it's midday, we just need to find shade. <laughs> but um, it's a very quiet town, so I think we should go across and um, start uh, walking. Alright, All right, so we've just been exploring this magnificent old town, haven't we David? Oh, it's amazing. Aren't we just amazed with how beautiful um, every single house is and they're all quite unique as well. Yeah. Um, everyone's really proud of you know their garden and stuff like that. So we're just here, we spotted this area where you can actually walk to the top, um, on top of uh, the wall and um, it should hopefully give us a really good idea of how magnificent this little old town is. I mean, obviously as you can see there's the moat that protects the city. The city. Yeah. Amazing. What I like too is uh, when you're walking around town is all the buildings have got their age on them. So this is saying something that's saying 1475 and 1600 and it's pretty cool. Yeah, so it was never been um, bombed during the war. Um, under, right 
underneath us is this magnificent restaurant which we didn't bother going in but as you can see look at that look at the roof it's pretty impressive Hooper, we're lucky we got water because it's so stinky oh my god it's crazy it's the top of here we should be able to get our bearings a little bit but nice area to walk around it near the middle of this yes wow, and it's surrounded by these churches and as you can see over that side there that looks pretty impressive to me um yeah it's just what and they good called again pat it's called Narden. Narden. yes so um one thing that we really liked about this area too is that it doesn't seem to be flocked by tourists um, um obviously we're here <laughs> but, but no one else seems but, to be. Yeah, and everyone's just on their bike. But um, now I actually wish that um, we we got a bike because, well, we didn't really see one to start with where you can rent, but there must be because um, quite a few people are on their bikes just exploring this this pretty um, old town. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to try and figure out. Um, the where the museum is, so there's two museums here. Um, I think the one that we went to just then was closed, so I'm hoping the, the second one will be open. But yeah, and then we're gonna go and check, check it out, learn a bit more about the history of this town, and show you. And get some shade. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> so we found the museum, but <laughs> we figured out uh, there's actually an entrance fee, which is 10 euros. Normally, <laughs> you, we can afford it, but... but this um, is towards the end of our trip, yeah, so we have to watch uh, every 20 penny. euros, that's 40 dollars for us. Uh, no, so... <laughs> we're so cheap. We so, will continue the tour so of I'm the beautiful so, town. So I'm really sorry <laughs> that we're not able to show you the museum. So you can imagine, there's, there's a lot of... It's, it's a war museum, so... Yeah, but you can turn around and show them these cute little streets but, instead. Yes, so which you might enjoy more. There you go. So the next best thing for us to see is to find the church. So hopefully there's no entrance fee to go and see that, <laughs> and so that at least we'll be able to show you something. Uh, something, um, but yeah. seen a name or an age of it yet. Oh my God. But the first thing you notice <laughs> is how cool it is out in here. Yes, I don't think they've got a bit of air conditioning. No, I think <laughs> so instead of going to the shopping malls in the Philippines, this is, if you're hot in the <laughs> Netherlands, you go to a church. Oh my God, look at, just look at the ceiling. Let's see if you can show them. just have to close the door so we can actually show you the whole cabin because it's not the biggest so I'm putting one hand here <laughs> and it pretty much goes almost to the wall over yeah. here and same yep that's why I can do yeah. wall to wall it's, it's a little cabin but um, we are leaving Amsterdam today we are headed to Berlin oh my god I can't believe we're going <laughs> to Germany is the next one on our um, list eh? but what a city Amsterdam has been yeah, Amsterdam has been an absolute um, delight 
to visit especially it made it even more special staying here in this amazing cabin you would have seen in the footage um, where, where we were docked for the last sort of three days um, and it's been amazing it's it felt like home and you know it, um, we met so many travels in here you know from um, different countries like um, Austria and, Germany uh, Italy Chile, Chile yeah, everyone. It's everyone but we're the only ones from down under yeah <laughs> and the crew's been amazing so compliments to the crew that, that's made all the difference mm, yeah so with Amsterdam you can make it as, as expensive as you want because it is a very pricey city mm -hmm. but you could do it like we've done and right on the budget and stay in yeah. accommodation like on a boat like this. It makes all the mm -hmm. difference. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be more memorable as well. Absolutely. The only thing though that you need to um, watch out for is that if you're a bit claustrophobic and um, you get hot in the night and you can't, you can't really sleep like me, um, this place has got a very tiny window. Yeah, it got really it's hot. It's a bit overexposed oh, over there. There you go. Yeah. Yes, so it got really hot. So, but what you do is you just open up that door. Yeah. But then yeah. show show them where the bathroom is. Oh, the door. Yeah, we're just saying if you're slightly overweight, you might not. Yes. It's a little tiny one. And then your wash basin's out out here. Yeah. Um. But this is this is perfect for us. Well, three nights today, right? Yeah. So. Off we go, off to another adventure. Thanks for watching. See you in Berlin. So we've actually joined the parade itself, which we didn't expect. It's very open. If you see a float that you like, you just hop on board and uh, enjoy. Exactly. So we didn't know, we didn't notice until I actually got here. So our friends over here. Hey. <laughs> there they are. Hi, say hello. <laughs> so anyway, we're just joining the fun and um, oh, it's not hot. Oops. 